obviously couldn't agree more. I think he's amazing. This I've always thought he was a really special actor. He and I worked together. We did a he was in a London production of my play, This Is Our Youth, in 2002, I think, and that's when we first worked together. We, we worked together on some readings in New York and uh, a little one act we did at one point uh, downtown with Naked Angels. And he was, initially Matt Damon was gonna play the role, and then he, his schedule just didn't work out, and he very graciously uh, told me that he agreed to offer the role to Casey, who, who had been on deck in a sense, because we script. And working with him was just a real delight. I had never worked with him this closely or this intensely. It, uh, it was one of the most satisfying, interesting experiences I've ever had collaborating with an actor. And I've been very lucky to work with a lot of really great actors. Uh, he's very, really wants to know everything he can possibly know. And he wants to explore every direction available. And he, he has a somewhat obsessive and prosaic drive to understand what's happening. Because, well, if I'm if I'm trying to put a wall up, if you say that I'm trying to be task oriented in this scene, why am I? Why do I bother to stop and thank the doctor? And he's not picking the script apart. He's asking me like, what, how I see it, and what I meant, and what we're trying, what what we're both, what are we both trying to get at, and how can he be real in that moment? That's one that I always remember, because he said this was fairly early on, and he said, well, why do I thank the doctor? I don't give a shit about him when he says, I'm sorry for your loss. And I didn't have an answer, but it felt right to me that he would say thank you. So I thought he makes you think about what you wrote and what you're trying to, what you see is the reality of, of the story and of the situation. And I said, I think he doesn't skip past anything. I think he stops and does what's right in front of him. And that's how he gets through his day. And if he can't do that, and then I thought, had the thought, when the day's over, he, and he's nothing left to do, he goes out and he gets drunk and he beats people up. He gets himself beaten up is more what he's looking for, I think. Um, and that was something that was a real, uh, that was kind of our pole star in terms of navigating the character through the, through the to stretch the metaphor way too far, through the ocean of the film. <laughs> but uh, the, uh, it was wonderful because it was so specific and so grounded and so emotional and just I don't I think that strange behavior and it ends up the character being very odd at first and you don't know what's wrong with him and and but it's very truthful and very believable and then when you see somebody he then you talk about sorry this is too long of an answer but then you talk about these uh, occasionally when you meet somebody that he likes like the girl uh, whose toilet he fixes uh, played by Quincy Bernstein at the beginning of the film. 